You know what? I'm actually going to tell you guys a story, and we're going to go on BO2. Wait, why the f*** is ghosts in my tray? I don't remember putting that in. Hold on a sec. We're going to BO2. Wait there. Smell that? That is just the fresh BO2. God, I love this game. It is just too moist. <sighs> How about that? Waiting a f decade to get into a game. And now we can finally start the story. Oh, yeah. Also, before we actually get into the story, if you've actually wondered what I've done so far today, I've literally just woke up, got woke up really early, went to the gym for an hour doing a lot of uh, weight training, you know, trying to get the big, 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 kind of thing going on is that even a real saw going on who cares even if he is and by the time you see this video i'm gonna be currently at my dad so bingo and bingo you know what i'm dead so just leave me alone but today's video is actually very very interesting now it's back when i was at school and i got a little bit in trouble for this not gonna lie but what i done was i generally didn't mean it in that context so i bet you thinking what did you do then sparky come on let us with your big news well she was wearing a mini skirt she kind of bent over and how convenient i accidentally pushed my pencil off the table now i generally did not mean to do it but you know where this is kind of leading. I didn't mean to drop my pencil at the end of the day. The way that she was bending over, her ass was that big that it, she basically done it herself. And then she looked behind me and then she smiled at me and she went, Jordan. And I went, oh, for God's sake. I, I, I said I generally didn't do nothing. She didn't believe me, of course. But her grin on there, it's like she generally wanted some meat off me. And not going to lie, I don't, right, I'm not a racist person, but I don't want to give meat to an Asian person. Call me racist or not, but that is not my style. I do not go up to Asians or Muslims or anything like that. You'll probably see me as a racist now, but I'm just, no, just no. Even if they are pretty as hell, just no, simply the fact because they're Muslim. I know you probably see me as racist now, but I am sorry. Lucky for me is there's no Asian girls actually watching my videos, so I can get away with what I'm saying now. I'm probably going to see my comment section and calling me a racist, but guess what? That's just who I am and I don't go out with people like that because at the end of the day, I just don't want it. And I'm not a big fan of religion, so I don't want to be part of that. So go back to the story. Obviously, when I dropped my pencil and she, the teacher was laughing her head off, she was kind of smiling. It looked like she wanted a bit of some. You know what I mean? She wanted some. But my friends were absolutely laughing their head off because they thought that I was generally being serious and I basically wanted to lift that mini skirt up and give her a bit of lollipop time, a bit of fun time. I know my, my context today is so random, but you know what I mean. No, I did not generally want to drop my pencil for her. It just accidentally happened. However, there was this really nice teacher. Unfortunately, she never actually taught me and she had blonde hair. And oh my God, if I, if I drop my pencil for her, I definitely just Jesus Christ, you might as well get in that closet because we are going to Narnia, my friend. But on a serious note, I'm obviously, I'm not going to be trying to bang my own teacher because that's just pedo-ish. And I'm not like that. I'd rather go out with someone my own age if you get one me. Like, now, I've been single for over a year and a half. Yes, I know, it's hard to believe. Well, in fact, no, it's not actually hard to believe. But you get what I mean. Dropping my pencil, just guys, don't do that to a teacher because it goes down the wrong way. What do you do if I actually hit a stupid little mid-game now? Boom! Yeah! That's what I'm talking. Let's go for mid games now. Did that? I thought I thought a guy had generally hit a shot on me. I'm not gonna lie. Mid games for the win, guys. So yes, of course. When I obviously dropped my pencil, she was a bit shocked, and she kind of, she, as she was smiling, she also thought that she would kind of. She said at first that she was going to grasp me up because it was basically in a sexual way when I said I generally didn't mean to. And one of my friends was uh, like encouraging her going, yes, Jordan, you dropped your pencil for her and everything. And then the teacher just looks at me after smiling and then her face just went dull. And that's it. She went, hmm. I don't know what to do with you. Now, at this time, I was thinking, oh, Jesus Christ, this is probably going to go a sexual way. But nope, she turned around and said, I don't know if to give you a couple of detentions for this. I was like, what? I said I didn't even mean to drop my pencil, for God's sake. You're taking it the wrong way. I said, at least you should appreciate the fact that someone actually likes you. Well, in fact, I didn't actually like her, but I just come out of the most random crap to try and get me out of this detention. I want to start a new trend. It's called hashtag, um, yeah, mid-games, uh, zero accuracy. Completely on point and Tomahawk's gonna hit now. No, it isn't because it was off target. Don't even ask why I'm going for mid games. I'm literally that bored that I'm actually going for mid games. How stupid is that? 
I'm going to hit a mid game because I'm I don't know why I haven't hit a trick shot in ages and I really want to hit a trick shot for some reason. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely not trick shot at the moment. Come on, I'm gonna hit this build cam. I'm gonna hit this build cam. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're going back with that teacher. Yeah, everything got resolved. She didn't actually give me attention. I kind of persuaded her not to, and I generally didn't want to drop my pens for her. She finally understood after taking about a year to actually sink it into a thick-ass head. But, oh well. We got out of the detention like a bad boy, even though I don't really give a crap if I got detention because I got loads anyway. But anyway, that wraps up today's video. If you have liked this story, be sure to leave a like. It'll be much appreciated. And thank you so much for the continuous support on my videos. It really means a lot to me and my channel. But stay safe, guys. I'm going to go now, so I'll catch you later. Peace.